The program's opened up, and what I'm going to do is I'll do a sign control. I'm going to open a profile. I have it saved under profile for Cal profile. And this is the calibration calibration profile listed. Now we don't have an accelerometer attached, so what I'll do is I'm just going to run it in manual mode for now. I'll switch from uh, average to manual for the control mode. And I'll turn the servo on. Now if you come over here and you look at the uh, shaker, you'll see that it's moving at 5 hertz. Okay, you see that the, the uh, shaker is moving. And what I'm going to do is I'll in manually increase the frequency. Just to show that the shaker is working. This is vibrating very slightly. Like I said, there's no accelerometer with the system. You'll have to add your own. I just want to demonstrate that the shaker is working, being controlled by the amplifier. All right, I'm mean, still in manual mode, and here's the frequency we have set here. I'm just going to hit stop. What I'm going to do is go back to uh, test run. Go to the lower limit. Control mode, I'm going to go back to average. We're going to control with channel 1. And in the help menu, you can go to help and hit online help. There's a calibration procedure here. And it, it, it's explained here. And what I did is I I'm going to tie the output of the servo to the uh, four inputs. And then we're going to look at the response on that to show that the input channels are working. Okay, we're going to view channel one. Two, three, and four. And we're going to use the, pro the profile that I showed originally. This is all explained in the uh, in a help file on a calibration routine. Now for the inputs. We have the uh, sensitivity set to 10 millivolts per G. And what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to slightly change each channel so we'll at least be able to see the uh, different colors up on the screen. Otherwise, they're superimposed. So I'll just change this to 9. Channel 2, I'll change the sensitivity to 9. Channel 3, we'll go to 8. Channel 4, we'll go to 7. Okay, so we'll come over here and I'm gonna What I have here is I have the uh, all the input channels hooked together in series. And this I'm gonna to attach to the servo app. Okay, so I'm ready for my calibration test. servo on first and then I'll run the sweep. The brown is a little hard to see but we did, you can see the four channels, the response. Now this is just demonstrating that the input channels are working by using the servo output as the uh, frequency generation.